This Saturday, people across the Bay Area will commemorate 20 years since the September 11th terror attacks. And in Napa, there will be a ceremony at the 9-11 Memorial Garden, which includes a monument that uses steel beams from the World Trade Center in New York. That piece includes the names of all those who were killed in the attacks. For more, we're joined now by the artist who helped to create that memorial in Napa, Gordon Huther. Gordon, appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. Thanks for thanks for having me. Absolutely. You, you created a space, obviously, for people to come together to remember and reflect on, on what we went through on September 11th. How, how do you describe the experience of, of walking through this memorial, uh, memorial garden? And how important do you think the space will be this upcoming weekend as we mark 20 years since the attacks? Well, er <clears throat> in terms of how important it will be, I mean, every year we have a ceremony in Napa um, <clears throat> on the anniversary of the event. Um, this particular one this weekend will be particularly moving as it is probably around the world and across the country because it's the 20 year anniversary. In regards to how people respond emotionally to um, being in this memorial garden, every, you know, every human being is different, but um, I see it quite often because I live here in Napa and I see people interacting with it almost daily, leaving flowers and all of that. So I like to think that it's a, a very moving and at the same time, hopefully a very educational uh, monument. It was quite a process to create this memorial. Uh, it, it all came about, I understand, when, when the Napa Fire Department was offered 30 tons of, of steel from the wreckage of the Twin Towers, and, and then you were tapped to, to try to come up with a way to, to incorporate that steel uh, into a public memorial. What was the process like for envisioning this concept and then kind of bringing your vision to life? Well, uh, so I was contacted by Darren Drake the, at that time, the, our fire marshal, and he, under, he found out that there was steel being made available by the victims' families and would I be interested in participating? So, you know, he filled out a form. I wrote a letter. It took about a year and they came back to us and they offered us, they sent us an email with six little thumbnail images of the steel that they were willing to give us and asked us, which piece did we want? And um, I, of course, being an artist, I said, well, how about all of them? And we were just amazed that they gave us 30 tons of steel. And so I went back to New Jersey where it was at being stored in a TWA um, hangar. And it was so uh, incredible to see burned out uh, first responder cars and trains and um, twisted steel everywhere and shoes. It was just really something. And so going through the process then, it was very much a community driven process, private partner, private public-private partnership um, to raise the money to find the site. And I kind of let the site and the, these objects of steel kind of drive my creativity to see, to, to, to have what we have today. This is obviously a lasting tribute in that community in Napa to, to those who died on September 11th. How important was it for you to, to create a memorial that can help to teach future generations, people who were not around when, when these attacks happened. But, but, but how important is it for, for, for those future generations to understand the significance of 9-11 and how much do you think your memorial can play a role in, in, in teaching people about what happened? Well, that's a great question. I like to think that it plays an enormous role. It's the only physical, visual manifestation of that event that we have in Napa. And I've always looked at the 9-11 memorial or the 9-11 event rather on, on the likes of when JFK was assassinated or Martin Luther King was assassinated. I mean, I <clears throat> I was sitting in the backseat of my parents' car when I heard it come over the radio. So it was a defining moment for our, for our culture, for our society um nationally and internationally it was just one of those incredible moments and there's 20 year olds walking around today that weren't there so it is very much to also educate and also of course memorialize so that we never forget what happened so we have kids that come down on school buses um 
and there's talks given there. And so I think it's an incredible um, tool for learning and for remembrance and inspiration. Yeah, an important learning tool for, for the community and, and as you say, for those future generations who, who weren't around. Absolutely. To witness what happened. Appreciate you taking the time to talk about the memorial. And I know there's going to be a ceremony coming up this Saturday uh, up there in uh, Napa at the 9-11 Memorial Garden. One of the artists who created it, Gordon Huther. Appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. And if you would like to look at more of Gordon's work, we've put up a link on our website. Just look under the web link section at KTVU.com.